What's up guys, Slay here from TTG and today I'm going to be showing you guys a simple Photoshop animation that I actually taught myself how to do and a lot of people were requesting this tutorial from me just wondering how to do this and hopefully by the end of this video you guys will have some type of general knowledge on how to create this effect. Now I'm sorry if I sound a little sick guys, it's because I am. Um, it kind of sucks too because it's spring break. But yeah guys, let me show you the effect I'm talking about. Alright, so, as you guys can see, the color is actually scrolling through the text, um, and in this example, which is a example that I put together, it's supposed to represent a TTG signature, but, you know, I have noticed on uh, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people who try to do this effect, um, they do some type of effect that is similar, very similar to this one, but instead of the text scrolling, or the color scrolling through the text, it's actually going a letter by letter. And I don't like that a lot because it doesn't look as smooth as when it scrolls because whenever the color scrolls through the text you can actually see the color transition from letter to letter which is really nice guys but you know let me show you guys how to do that so what you're gonna want to do is open up Photoshop um, in this instance I'm using Photoshop CC which is which to my knowledge is the newest Photoshop um, made by Adobe guys but you could be using you know previous versions of Photoshop like Photoshop CS6, CS5, etc, etc, but, you know, go ahead and open up the dimensions you will be working with today. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose my default TTG SIG dimensions, which is 340 by 40, and, okay, so, now, I'm going to go ahead and just do a default black background, and I'm going to drag this lock to the trash can. It's something that I like to do every time I, you know, work with Photoshop, I don't know why, it's one of my pet peeves, I guess, but, you know, now, let me go ahead and lay down my text here. I'm just going to, I already have my text or my font selected, which is Molot, um, M-O-L-O-T. A lot of people like this font because it's very bold, and I'm just going to put Slay, and drag that to the center there. Let's see, probably not perfectly centered, but it's good enough. Now, usually I would not open up another workspace to create the uh, the rectangle, the colors that are going to be scrolling through here, but just so you guys can get a good look at what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'll just do 250 by 250. Now, you guys can choose to do this or not. Totally up to you. Okay. And so, yeah. So, you're going to want to get your rectangle tool and make sure your rectangle tool is big enough to cover the whole text so I only have four characters so it's not going to be that big guys which is really good this is uh this effect is works you know it's really easy to do whenever you're working with um you know words that are just like four characters long in this instance so I'm gonna go ahead and create my rectangle and I'd say that's big enough to color to cover the whole sleigh so uh you know, I'll just keep it blue. So, of course, blue is going to be one of the colors scrolling through the text. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer, which will duplicate the rectangle by right-clicking and clicking Duplicate Layer. And I'm going to change the color of that by clicking on the rectangle, going back up to the fill color, and I'll change it to a red. And then I'm going to repeat the process of what I just did and duplicate the layer and then drag that over to the side go back to the rectangle tool and I'll change the color to lime green so there we have it guys we have three colors that will be scrolling to the text and that's excluding the primary color which is white you could change the primary color so we will have four different colors white blue red and green so you're going to want to group all these rectangles and merge them together. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click the top rectangle and then shift click on the bottom rectangle and then right click and no scratch that. Just select them all and then control G. And then you're going to want to right click and go to merge group. So there we go guys. We have all of the rectangles merged together. Now I'm going to want to drop this workspace down and ooh, I had a little bit of lag there. 
and then I'm going to drag this group onto this workspace right here alright guys so there we have it all of its grouped together and as you guys can see it's big enough to cover the text which is good now I'm going to go ahead and create a clipping mask so make sure your group of rectangles is above the text that's very important now right click and create clipping mask so as you guys can see the colors are inside the text now we just gotta make we gotta make it animated so you can either drag your group all the way to the right or the left I always like starting from the left so I'm just gonna keep it all the way to the left right there guys and there we have it you cannot see it because it's in a clipping mask but it is there so you're gonna wanna get your timeline down here if you do not have your timeline at the bottom you're gonna wanna go to windows and then timeline right there just click on it and it should pop up or appear now uh, you're going to want to click this little module module I can't even say that uh, you want you're gonna wanna click it create video timeline now in very rare instances I will use this video timeline here um, I will not be using it in this tutorial but I ha I do use it in some of my uh, well I haven't really created a tutorial on on this timeline here yet but maybe in the future so you're gonna want to click right here on these three little boxes here um, to convert it to frame by frame animation you're gonna want to take it the five seconds all the way down to no delay <coughs> Sorry about that guys. Now you're going to want to put it on no delay because it's a lot smoother. It's very recommended to put it on no delay. Now you don't have to do it that way but like I said very recommended. And now you're going to want to create another frame by clicking on this little icon right here by the trash can. And now you have two frames. You want to make sure that you have your the second frame selected. And now you're going to want to drag your group of rectangles all the way to the opposite side so if you have it on the right you're gonna to wanna to drag it all the way to the left if you have it on the left like I do you're gonna to wanna to drag it on the right so let me just drag it all the way through as you guys can see I dragged it all the way through now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna you're gonna to wanna to click on these line of frames here um, it's right by add frame and add frame is right by trash can so the third to the last one now click on that and I like to add maybe around 20 frames keep this in mind guys the less frames you add the faster it will go the more frames you add the slower it will go so I like to keep it at 20 you know that seems about right and so there we have it guys all the frames have been added in and I'm going to take this and put it on forever and let's see what it looks like guys <coughs> alright so there you have it guys um, simple you know color scroll through the text animation really easy to make guys um now you know like you could add you know a background to this or whatever I of course I just showed you guys the text animation but you get what I mean now I could you know guys uh, you could suggest tutorials you know animations that you have seen out there on the web that you don't know how to create now guys I know how to make a lot of animations in Photoshop I mean I, I know how to make doors opening explosions um, 3d text rotating I mean pretty much a lot guys you name it and I can pretty much do it the problem about you know the reason why you guys don't see a lot of, of that from me is because you know of course TTG signatures and avatars only go up to a hundred kegabytes which sucks because if I do a huge animation like text exploding and stuff like that it takes up too much space but I may post a little bit of my work of that in the forums who knows guys but like I said if you have any questions on how to do any type of animation guys just PM me or anything guys and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to um, tell you guys or and help you guys out with that but yeah guys hope you guys enjoy this video and peace out